Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to go over some more junk journal ephemera that I've been making and also we're gonna make two of the pieces um, together. So let me start off with these very simple um, yeah, I don't know what you want to call them. They can be used as belly bands. They can be used actually even as bookmarks. Um, or they can just be used as tags. Basically, if you put something on the back, like a plain piece of paper, you can obviously journal on the back as well. So all I did was uh, from an old vintage children's book, I cut out um, some of the images. And I... Just distress the edges, put them on some book pages. Very, very easy to do, but very cute. I don't know, I, I kind of enjoy using these kind of original, um, original, I mean, they're from a book, but um, I kind of prefer using these things rather than downloaded kits. Although, although I think it's great to support these artists as well um, that sell all their kits on Etsy and maybe I will revert to that in the future. But for the moment, I really enjoy, uh, <laughs> I really enjoy hunting down um, old books in you know, flea market or secondhand shops. You can get them really cheap and I just really like working with those. The next thing I wanted to show you was um, these envelopes. And I think this idea came from Jibid. I think you all know Jibid if you're into junk journals. She does the most amazing journals. So I just did three of these little envelopes and those these are the kind that you can open up and write in, in the envelope itself. So basically you would, I mean you could just obviously use it as a floating envelope by just um, clipping it onto a page, but you could also glue this back onto a page and then you can just open it and have like some secret journal in there. So I've done one um, like this and I used these, they're, kind of, they're stickers, so they're called vintage stickers. You can get them on AliExpress. I have these in one of my hauls, um, either the May or the April AliExpress haul videos. And then underneath, all I have is some trim. So some of this is like this kind of eyelash trim that I just tea dyed. And I added some pink one like that as well. And then I used underneath some of this. And I totally forgot what this is called. I'm so sorry. But obviously, you'll understand what it is. Um, so that's one. Then the other one was just with a very cute sticker which is also from a pack from Aliexpress you can see that in my haul video and underneath instead of the brown um, thing I used green and I still don't know the name so I, I found this in a roll which is actually quite handy so and also some eyelash trim and then the third one just has some lace and it has another sticker, which is this flower. Yeah, so basically those are the three envelopes I've made. Then another gibbet idea are these beautiful pressed flower pockets. Um, and so one of them I distressed. So all I did was I pressed some flowers and I have another video on how I do that as well if you search on my channel. Um, yeah, I just cut some paper, Wait, let me just grab one. So I have this A4, sorry, this A4 like transparent paper. I don't know the weight, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and then I just, I see what size the flower is and then just cut the, paper two, two pieces accordingly and I just put the flower in the middle I don't glue it or anything it doesn't it doesn't move anyway and then I just sew it 
sew it. I sew it with a zigzag stitch around and in this case I distressed it although I'm not sure that I prefer that because here's one that I haven't distressed and I might like that better. I am not sure yet. So yeah, so these are some of the smaller ones. And they can be used of course as tags or you could clip them on somewhere or you can even put them on tags. There's beautiful yellow buttercup, whoops, buttercups. I really like these. And here's a uh, Here's one that I just did like a double thing. So I sewed down the middle as well. It has two different plants there. And here's some larger buttercup ones. And these could be used as bookmarks as well. I really like these shapes. They could even be used like in a small um, traveler's notebook or in a small notebook. You could actually even, even use them as a belly band like this. Why not? So those are that, then this I came up with because I was going through my scraps and I found some of these um, scrap papers where I, where I had punched out some shapes just with some random punches and then I didn't really want to throw them away so I thought what could I do with them and then I came up with this. So basically, I, and, and I want to do this together with you, so I punched, and, and yeah, I'm sorry, so, so the punched out shapes would then be used in this, which I'll go through in a second, so you're not wasting anything, but just so you see what I was doing, um, so I used, so I punched out the shapes, I then used the piece where I punched the shapes out and backed it with some fabric, sewed that together and then sewed that piece onto some um, tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. And so you have these cute little um, pieces of ephemera that you can again work with to do other things. And I'm so sad, this butterfly shape, um, I can't do anymore because I had a punch, beautiful butterfly punch, and I don't know if it was Amazon or AliExpress, I couldn't find it anymore in my orders, but it broke after like, I don't know, maybe 30, 30 punches or something, and that really made me sad because I really waited a long time for it, and yeah, now I don't have one anymore, but so I do still have this one. And then there's one with these kind of hearts. And then there's these stars. And then there's these other shape of hearts. So we're gonna make those together in a moment. And then I wanted to show you, so there's a lot of tutorials out there for these paper bag pockets. And this is the first one I made and I just decorated it with some ephemera that I had and and a real stamp that I just added so basically it has one two pockets but depending on how you sew it in it could have another third pocket and then I didn't want to throw the top of the bag away so I used this to make another pocket or two pockets depending on how you put it in and this has the the hearts that I um, punched out of the the cardstock so I thought I would do one of these with you where we, in the end we have one of these and one of these because as I said the this um, has been done on so many YouTube channels so many tutorials I don't think I need to do this but I don't remember seeing one for the top of the bag and rather than just throwing it away I think we can make something nice so that's what we're gonna do right now so basically this is the paper bag that I'm using is just a regular paper bag so this is a clip up part and what I did is so I have another one here so I just cut it um, cut it in two so that maybe it's like I don't know uh, two-thirds and one-third basically the one-third is the top so this is the bottom part where I made this part out of 
and yeah let's go into making this little part so all I did was um, doesn't really matter which part is up or down this one part has a little zigzaggy thing yeah it doesn't really matter so what I do is I just um, cut in here a little bit this is maybe like one and a half centimeters and same thing on the other side and I do like this edge also to be folded back so that it's not so flimsy so you can see here um, it's sewn on the top and also this part I like to fold down so that um, it doesn't get destroyed by putting tags in all the time okay so now we've cut it and now basically we just um, oh, and I forgot my bone folder, but that's okay. I can just use my scissors. So I'm just going to fold this part down. Try to do that sort of straight. So that's the back part, basically. And then the front part, I want to fold down as well, but I want to fold it down farther. Actually, I'm going to cut this a little more. So the cut basically, I think, is about two centimeters. But yeah. And then, I don't know if this is necessary, but to create a little less bulk, I just kind of cut the inside, cut a little wedge here on this inside flap. So that's one. And. So then I want to fold this down as well. Make sure that it's folded farther in than the top one. Wait, I think I need to cut this even more. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I remember what I did. So actually, I need to trim that other side a little bit. So now this long part with the flaps. Yeah, sorry, I did that wrong. So I need to trim that down a little bit first. So I'll just hold this back a little bit so that I don't cut it. And then I just cut like half a centimeter off. Yeah, and this is not really working. Okay. Anyway, because <laughs> the paper is not thick enough, it's bending. So I'm just going to do this with my scissors, which would have been a better idea in the first place for something like this, I guess. So I'm just cutting this down. And now, since I did that too early, I need to do this again. Just cut the excess away. As I said, I don't even know if it makes much of a difference because the paper really isn't that thick. But, oh well. And now, we're going to fold this down. Okay, and now we have the pocket here. And of course, it's still open on the bottom. And we have this top part. Both of these are folded down. So now I'm just going to run this through my sewing machine and just go around the outside once. And I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've just sewed all around. As you can see, and now this is actually a pocket. Uh, if you, Obviously, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue this back part down and then glue um, glue around the bag so that you can seal it shut. Now, if I would have been smart, I would have distressed this part before, but of course I forgot. So I'm just gonna quickly distress all around now. I'm using the um, Ranger Tim Holtz um, vintage photo. I'm just gonna quickly 
I do need now. I'm going to fold this down to do this edge as well. Okay, so that's it for the little pocket. And now, um, because kind of the, these kind of go hand in hand because you're going to use these punch outs for this decoration. Um, let's go ahead and take a scrap. So this is left over. So I love using the leftover scraps. So all I'm going to do is just punch three hearts in this. Try to make it as even as possible. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, so I have my little hearts and I have my little scrap, which will then become this. So let's leave that aside for the moment and finish this. So I'm just going to distress the three hearts for now. One. It always amazes me how much difference it makes to distress something. It's totally worth the effort, I think. Okay, that's that. And now, of course, what I forgot was to get the tea dyed um, paper. I'm sorry for bumping you, just a moment. Okay, so here's a, um, just a scrap. So what I'm going to do is um, how do I best do this? Actually, I want to sew around it first. So let me just cut this. Let me see how much. big this is supposed to be. One, two, three. And approximately because I totally don't measure. Yeah, so that should work. <laughs> it's hard to do this standard. Okay, so I have that. And then I think I'm going to just trim the length a little bit. Okay, so this is signed. Now I will just distress these. These, this single. Why is it so much harder to talk when you're on camera? I don't know. Or maybe I always talk like this and don't realize it. Okay, so this is distressed and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew, sew around um, the edge here. It's not really necessary, but I think it's a nice touch. So I will be right back. Okay, so now I've just sewed around the edges. I don't know how well you can see them in the camera because it's white thread. So now I'm just going to glue the three hearts onto the paper and I just use some tacky glue. So I'll do the middle one first. So hopefully it will be sort of symmetrical. Let's see how well that goes. So there's one. And I think I'm putting way too much glue, but oh well. And number three. All right. Okay. 
So we are this far and now what I want to do is put that onto another piece of this. Oh my God, what is the name? This is so embarrassing. I have no idea. So rather than measuring, I will just hold this onto this and just cut. Cut around it, leaving a little bit of space. And this makes a heck of a mess. Okay, that should work just fine. And then all we gotta do is glue that onto this. And of course the glue comes through, so it's a bit messy, but we're putting the paper on top of that, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. So that's the pocket here, which can be a double pocket. Now the other part we wanted to do with this uh, was this. So what I want to do is I want to just take my trimmer again. I want to just shorten this piece. So I'm gonna just eyeball it to one side. So now I have this and I want to put some fabric underneath. What I have is I found these rolls of fabric at a local craft store, but of course you can use any type of fab fabric. This is fairly thin. And I want to try some blue ones. So rather than measuring again, I'm just going to try to find Mm-hmm, that will work, so it'll look like this. So I just want to cut the length. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna, you can either glue it, but glue, I always find glue so messy. So I'm going to just sew around the edge twice and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've sewed around um, the edges twice and I'm just going to distress my cardstock. And then I'm going to sew this onto my coffee dyed paper. And while I have my distress tool out, I'm just going to do those edges as well. Okay, so I will just sew this on and be right back with the end result. Okay, there you have it. So there's the finished piece. So this was the pink. This is the same thing in blue. Of course, you could back it on another 
cardstock, maybe in the same color shades as the fabric, that would look nice as well. And I guess you could use these either as um, tags, you could journal on the back, or you could of course also use these as tuck spots. By just gluing them in on the three sides and then putting something in here. So the possibilities are fairly endless. So I hope this was useful for you. I'm always looking for new ideas, so I thought I would share this. Maybe somebody got some inspiration from this. So I hope you enjoy this, and uh, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye.